Hello everyone, today I'm going to review the Suray sniper lenses on my Fujifilm X-H2S. Suray is a brand I used for a couple of years now. My go-to tripod is from them. They are a brand that makes good looking and quality stuff. I loved reviewing their Nightwalker lenses and anamorphic adapter and today I'm going to review their first autofocus lenses. These are the Suray sniper lenses, you can buy these separately or as you can see here a set. I have here the black and fiber carbon ones but they are also available in ceramic white and silver. All versions look great but I chose these because they look so good on the X-H2S. You rarely see lenses and say those look nice. Yes, Fujifilm has some beautiful looking lenses but in a different way. Yes, Suray sent me these lenses to review and give you my honest opinion about them. I had these lenses for months now and they are pre-production units, so my experience and yours may be different. I also provided Suray with feedback about these lenses and they improved some of them with firmware updates. As I said, these lenses are beautiful, the carbon fiber and Suray logo look great, the metal diamond shaped focus ring is great and very nice to use, because of its design you can also use a follow focus if you want to manually focus these lenses. The front silver part is metal, the filter thread is 58mm, the slick blue line looks metal. The back black part of the lens is metal and the mount is metal and has a USB Type-C port for firmware updates. I already used it to update these lenses and works super easy. As I said the mount is metal but it has no rubber gasket because these lenses are not weather sealed, they are budget lenses after all. But overall super well built, I love the look and fiber carbon part. They are the same size and almost same weight, around 400 grams. The 23mm is 38, the 33 is 400 and the 50 is 419. Small difference, a new gimbal should not have a problem with a small difference like this when you change lenses. They all come with a plastic lens hood, a well built one. The 33 and 23 have the same lens hood. The 56 comes with a deeper one. If you buy the set, it is going to come in this nice blue and black case that is very well built and can keep your lenses safe. The sniper lenses are also available for Nikon Z and Sony E mounts. The weight may be slightly different between mounts. I know what you want to know. How is the autofocus and image quality? First I want to talk about the autofocus on these lenses. On Fujifilm cameras the lens matters as much as the camera when it comes to autofocus. The Fujifilm autofocus system is different than other brands and needs to be customized to get the most out of your lenses. Gladly these lenses are very responsive to the changes you make in your settings. You want them to focus slower, more natural, no problem. You want them to focus fast and jump directly on your subject, no problem. But it is still a Fuji system and sometimes the lenses will focus in steps. As you can see here the lenses work pretty well with eye and face detect. I did not encounter any pulsing in the background while testing the autofocus. There were some issues but I got a firmware update from Suray that improved the overall performance. Again I have pre-production units so the performance of your lenses should be different in a good way. In my opinion the autofocus is pretty good, what do you think? Tell me in the comments below. Focus breathing on these lenses is very well controlled, almost none. If you zoom in maybe you will see just a bit but who does that? I think these lenses are designed more for video so this video is going to be focused on that. The minimum focus distance is 30 cm on the 23, 40 cm on the 33 and 60 cm on the 56, good enough for bright budget lenses. I also tested the lenses in low light and contrasty conditions and they worked pretty well. I also tested them on older models from Fujifilm like the XC4 and got very good results as you can see in this footage here.
The image quality is good starting from f1.2 and I'm talking about video. The image is usable from f1.2 on all lenses but the best performer is the 23mm. It has better sharpness and contrast in the middle of the frame than the others at f1.2. To some people, these lenses may look soft at f1.2, but the thing is the details are there and the image looks good in my opinion. I don't like super sharp and clinical lenses for my work, so I think these ones look good. If you stop down to f2 or f2.8, you are going to get better details and contrast in the middle of the frame, edges and corners but the lenses still have some character. Stop down to f4 or f5.6 to get great sharpness and contrast across the whole frame. And even here the lenses retain their character because of barrel distortion and longitudinal chromatic aberrations. When it comes to flare, the best performers are the 23 and the 33. On these lenses you get less flare and it looks pleasing to me. The 55mm flares a bit more, but that is normal because it has a bigger glass front element. So, to get the most out of these lenses, you need to always use the lens hood. Without it, you will get flare and some glare. Talking about light, on all lenses you get some purple fringing at f1.2. You need to stop down to f2.8 for an improvement. I don't mind this because it adds to the character of the lenses. Speaking about character, you can also see some longitudinal chromatic aberrations at f1.2 that goes away around f4. These should make your image pop in a 3D way. Now let's talk about the bokeh of these lenses. As you saw in some of my footage, it is nice and creamy. At such a lower f-stop, you get some amazing out-of-focus backgrounds that never look busy. And the transition between in-focus and out-of-focus is great. I think the bokeh looks similar on the 23 and 33, but it is a bit different on the 56. If I had to choose just one of these lenses, I would go with the 23mm. It has the best image quality at f1.2 and the best focal for most situations. It is great for everyday use. Overall, I think these lenses perform quite well for the price. They are very well built, they have good image quality, they are very easy to change on your setup because they have the same measurements, they are plenty sharp if you stop down a bit. I think Suray did a great job considering these are their first autofocus lenses and I think they are going to improve them even more over time with firmware updates. If this video was helpful, please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified when I release new videos. And if you want to support the channel even more, use the links in the description at no extra cost to you. See you next time.